Great shot. Played with the swing, pulled into the leg side. That is brilliant batting. Confident start. Positive from Adams. She saw the length, didn't move her feet. She's not the biggest mover of feet, but what she has is great hand-eye coordination, almost on the front foot, swiveling, working with the movement of the ball. I think this is a tougher end to face someone bowling in swing. Catch! Out into the leg side, big shout of catch, should be taken. Yeah! And it is excellent out there on the boundary. Danny Wyatt, she is a brilliant fielder. The Southern Brave are on their way. Adams going for the big shot. She sometimes gets herself in a bit of trouble because she doesn't quite set a base. But the light for the Brave. No doubt Danny White was catching that. Oh, beautiful shot. Shot of real authority from Van Nierke. For me, in some ways, this is one of the shots of the tournament. I just love it. It's a bit of stand and deliver, and then just hit up over the top with a bit of flourish at the end. Yeah, just standing outside her crease, changing the length a little bit. Going up with the bounce, great. Gave him the hairdryer treatment. Oh, I tell you what, you talk about the other shot was a bit more brutal, that was clinical, because it was premeditated and she just used her hands to just angle the blade to get it where she wanted. Yeah, I think it's her biggest skill set is just the way she's able to use her wrists late into the shot just to angle up and over. Didn't try and over hit this one. Held a strong base. Oh, that's not out of the middle. Oh, nearly. Diving forward. Maya Bouchier just tried it, just hung in the air for a bit. Didn't look like she hit anywhere near the middle of the bat and wasn't going to carry. But in the end, I think it just did. Have you loved it, Ness? Have you enjoyed it? I certainly have. Oh, so I've enjoyed that sweep as well. That's the slog sweep, hard sweep. Both her and Capsi play that shot really well. They get low and nail it past square leg. And Shane Wall will tell you that leg spinners do not like that shot. They bowl their best delivery. And it goes for four through square leg. I think a lot of people were learning. Well, that's through the gap. That'll run down the hill. That'll be four. Yeah, there's a lot of interaction between the men and the women's teams of trying to learn off each other, passing on knowledge, what you've learned, especially with they played always on the pitch before you. There wasn't a lot of time in between games, but there was a time just to have a quick chat with the opposite coach or some of the players. So it was, I thought it was being fantastic to interact and both learn off each other. Splice to the bat. Carries all the way, should be taken. Oh. No, dropped. Dunkley in the deep, and she's put it down. And that will get away. How often do we see that? Drop catch, next ball boundary, halfway through the 100, 52 the score. The reverse played because that's the opportunity to get a boundary. Very well played, Kate. Yeah, really good from Fran Wilson. She's continuing the form that she picked up in yesterday's eliminator at the Oval, but that's a super strength of Fran Wilson. She'll play square with the wicket confidently. This middle period, that's up in the air. Is this a chance, Danny White? We've been talking about it, guess what? She doesn't drop. There's been a couple of drops, but Danny doesn't drop. Bold Amanda Wellington, she's coming after the strategic timeout. She's had an impact straight away, and Danny Wyatt does have dropped those on the boundary. Lauren Bell, she's in again. Oh, that's up. Now's a chance at mid-off. It's gone. Out. There's been a couple of wickets. Wilson went. Fanny Kirk is now gone. Gabby Lewis, the replacement for Smithy Mandana. Takes a simple catch at mid-off. You could see what Van Nico was trying to do. She'd scored a couple of boundaries early on over that mid-off, an extra cover area. 
it wasn't to be today. Lauren Bell comes back into the attack and has immediate impact. Shot down the ground. It's a full toss. It got what it deserved. It was smacked down the ground, and there's a boundary. They've been needing that boundary. It's been coming for a while. And the informed batter gets it. Capsi gets it. 70 for three from 70. Shot. Got what it deserved. We've seen a full toss that got whacked. Seen a leg side delivery that needed to be whacked. Both of them did get whacked. Two boundaries in the last four balls. They bowled well today, the Southern Brave, but what the Invincibles have done well is they've punished that bad ball when it's come. It's much needed from the Oval Invincibles. Well, she's gone for the shot up over mid-wicket and got the connection she was looking for. A good boundary, and that might be important in the context of a potentially rain-affected game. 80 balls gone, 88 runs on the board. Good use of the feet, straight down the ground. Maya Boucher is close, but could not get it in with the full stretch dive. Alice Capsi is starting to get things moving. Yeah, Capsi's trying to take control now, try and get up to a score which is somewhere near respectable. Goes up to long arm, doesn't get all of it, gets enough, runs round, valiant attempts, making good ground. She's got eyes on the ball, sticks a paw out. Just eludes her. Standing again, feet in line with the stumps. Allows it to go straight. And a smart option again, hitting down the ground. Yeah, Capsi really finding her feet now as we come towards the end. But the last 15 balls of the inning, she's gone to 18 from 10 balls with another boundary. Taking it on, the mid ons up goes over the top. Just one bounce over the boundary rope. Bowled her, she bowled her. That's a key wicket for Lauren Bell. Yeah, just as I was talking, Capsi up, talking about how well she was doing, she goes back. Bell, who's been impressive today. This time, running in, taking the pace off the ball. See the wicket again, yeah, just taking the pace off the ball. Capsi coming down the pitch, bowling it into the pitch, bowling it short. And it just stuffs it, doesn't it? She's through the shot too soon, flicks the stumps. I've been impressed with Bell today. Runs, you don't care how they come, if it's an outside edge in a final, you're going to take them. Stayed low that, but she's drilled it. What a shot, and the runs are now flowing. Yeah, two boundaries off the first two balls. Villiers, first one a little bit lucky. This one, no look whatsoever in this. Swatting it into the wet leg side, gets all of it. Spin, and what a shot. Full on the leg side, and just use the wrist to carry it around to backward square. Yeah, Cap now getting on the axe. Just a controlled sweep shot, which she has nailed. Flick those wrists right at the end. Just making sure she hits that gap past the fielder in the inner ring and also beating the fielder out on the boundary. Catch! She's gone straight, she's gone dead straight. And again, another boundary. This is impressive batting from Cap now. We saw the previous ball down on one knee, beating the field with the sweep shot. This time, I think I'm going to come down the pitch, picks the gap perfectly, straight Catch. over the ball's head, dissecting the fielders out in the deep. Just plugs a little bit in the grass, but still enough. Got an outside edge underneath it is Amanda Jade Wellington, and that is a heart in mouth moment, as you can tell, but she's delighted for holding on. Yeah, relieved that's ended up in her hands. It's the end of Cap. Played a nice little cameo, they got the Oval Invincibles up to a target, which they'll be pleased with. 26 or 14 balls. Where they were was invaluable, as we see the wicket again coming down the wicket, trying to repeat the shot of the previous ball. Just gets a top edge. Wellington keeps her eyes on it, clutches on.
Last ball, Fred. Last ball. Last ball. They'd love a boundary, wouldn't they? I agree with you, e Reb. This score now, at one point, they'd have snapped your hand off to take this. They'll be believing. You know, probably an overused word, momentum, but it's with the oval at the minute. She's got a good connection, but there is a fielder underneath it. Maya Boucher has had to work hard in the deep, has taken the final catch. So after 100 balls, the Oval Invincibles post 121, and Anja Shrapsol's side have got some work to do to win the inaugural 100 competition. Yeah, wicked off the last ball, Shrapsol getting another one. Full toss, just tried to place it in that gap between long gone and deep mid wicket, but just picked out the fielder perfectly. <laughs> oh, there's a nick. Yes, it's a huge nick. It's a massive wicket. They did it last night, so they're going to defend it again this evening. Similar to last night's start for the Oval Invincibles, taking wickets early, and it's calf again. We said the ball's just swinging a little bit from outside off stump. It's Danny White coming in, throwing it hands at that ball, just carrying through to the keeper. Look at Kat there, she's happy with that, isn't she? I don't think she's happy with aggressive, there's a lot going on there. Yeah, bowling that block of 10, Shane Warne was talking about that block of 10, and guess what? That is the reason why. Second slip comes in, and there's another pole. Two down. Good captaincy, aggressive captaincy. Having the two slips in, I just mentioned, maybe come a little bit forward. But that had no danger of not carrying. Dunkley going at the ball hard. Carrying through head height. Oh, it's up. It's up. Could be the third. It is the third. What an unbelievable set of ten. It could be match winning. Unbelievable start to the second innings. Cat bowling, all ten. Two sets of five, taking three wickets. Two for three after ten balls. Win predictor, 88% now to the Auburn Invincible, just 12% to the Southern Brave. And Cap, she's gone from looking aggressive and celebrating, almost in disbelief there. Gets the top edge, running back from that short front leg, I wanted to move. And take it, taking the catch. Well, I tell you what, it's a wonder I was a shocking captain. <laughs> it makes a pair of us, Freddie. <laughs> I won more than you. <laughs> Everybody expects us to get it. We gotta get it. Short, wide. If it's there to hit, Maya's gonna hit it. Yeah, first boundary over backward point. Advancing down the pitch, using the pace, going up and over. Coming down the pitch, getting a hand through that. She gets all of it, just inside the ropes. They've really gone after the Southern Braves. That could be close too. Direct hit. Direct hit's always close. We're going upstairs. He's just run out again. Set off for a quick one, does a good throw, good direct hit, and they're always pretty close. Ishmael goes for the short ball, and another wicket. This is falling apart. 11 wicket, 11 runs on the board, and they are struggling. The crowd are ecstatic. This is what you call an absolute horror show for the Southern Braves. 11 for 5 now, they've been the best side in the tournament, but when you get to a final, anyone can win. Who's going to have a day out? Who's going to be that player to turn the game? Well, at the moment, the Oval Invincibles are all over the Southern Braves. 11 for 5, can you believe it? What a catch, Marizan Cap diving to her right. They have been clinical with their catching and a smile. She doesn't smile often, but there's a beam there. Get that smile on your face. You've got the opposition 14 for six, and you're not far away off winning this final. That's an excellent catch. We thought the matchup might be okay for the skipper. But look at this, they're just on. The Oval Invincibles are just on. They're hungry, they want it. That's a terrific catch. This is excellent cricket, great to watch. The crowd happy. Shot. Nice shot, use the pace. That flew off the bat. 
And although the Southern Braves are 18 for six and, you know, they need a miracle, it's amazing how quickly this game can change what we've seen so far in the 100. It only takes a couple of good sets of five where you get a, a couple of high scores, a couple of batsmen or batters get in, and suddenly this game can really change quickly. Shot. Just open the blade and just glided it up the hill. Any hope that the Southern Brave have rely on Stefani Taylor's shoulders here. She's a senior player, she's played plenty of international cricket. And you would think if the Southern Brave have any chance, she's got to be there at the end. Oh, brilliant. Went the other way that time. Generally, it's the leg spin, and that one just went down the slope, and that is a brilliant bit of bowling, and that is it, pretty much. The last of the batters. This final is going to belong to the Oval Invincibles and Dane Van Nierke. We just spoke about the importance of Sasvani Taylor, and if they had any chance, she was going to be it, and a great bit of keeping there from Bryce. She had a tough day behind the stumps yesterday, but she... Has a put a foot wrong today, and you can see the delight. So the Brave now 29 for seven. Alice Capsi, one of the names people won't forget from this competition. Good shot. That reverse sweep used a bit of the pace and a bit of guile as well. Good bit of innovation from Fee Morris. You can't die wondering at this stage of the game. She got it fine enough to beat that point fielder. Fran Wilson, who got the direct hit earlier. Good shot. Through the offside, into out, through extra cover. That was the ball that swings away rather than the off-spinner. But she picked it perfectly and just went with it. Yeah, good use of the fees, Fee Morris. Just beat that fielder who's in tight. Ten balls from one end. Oh, good shot. Really good shot. Use the pace. Yeah, you feel it's a little bit too little too late for the Southern Brave, but real good bit of innovation again from Fee Morris there. She's used that reverse sweep and that paddle well. She's got the little Joss Butler step back as well. Little trigger movement. Up again, hit down the ground. One bounce away, they needed that, and they need more of that. Yeah, just what we were talking about there, she just tosses the ball up, a little bit of flight. Down the pitch, gets it away, gets it through, four. Another good shot from Fee Morris, just uses her feet again. She's been good square of the wicket, she's been good with that reverse sweep, but she's also jumped on length when it's been there. Well gone, tried the reverse, and Capsi finishes with the wicket, she gives her a bit of a send-off as well. Well bowled, Alice Capsi, his second wicket of the day. Just kept it really simple, bowling tight to the stumps, and that reverse sweep has worked for Tara Norris. The captain back in. So far, one wicket for her. They're looking for the two, they're trying to push. And if the throw was a little bit straighter, they might have made it closer, but they're still going to have a look. Sue Redfern goes upstairs. Oldest. Oh, you could just see the bounce that she got there. She tried to slide her bat in and it just bounced uncomfortably. Fortunately for Fee Morris, she's going to have to go. She's going full. But what a shot. Lauren Bell comes to the party. Might be late, but at least she can still have a bit of fun. Yeah, good shot, Lauren Bell. Might as well have some fun while you're out there. There's only four balls left. She's gone for the rough 
Krishna, the rougher up. She didn't like getting hit for a fall. That shows how feisty a character she is. <laughs> yeah, you touched on it earlier, Ebs, that fierce look that she's got, and she would not have liked being through the covers for four. Fast bowler to fast bowler. Where's that fast bowler's union gone that they used to be? Full and bold, what a moment! The Oval Invincibles have won the first ever 100 tournament at Lords. Dane van Nierkirk lifts up Marazan Kapp, who has the best figures in the women's tournament. Four wickets for only nine runs. That's absolutely outstanding. They fought back, got themselves into the final, and then dominated. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners of the first ever women's hundreds.